to a little video that we've put together uh, at Cloud Gateway. Uh, a couple of reasons that we wanted to put this together. We wanted to tell you a little bit more about Cloud Gateway and what we do. Um, but as importantly, or maybe more importantly, uh, myself and Neil wanted to give you a little, little taste of who we are, how we function, and uh, let this be the intro to some videos and more video content that we'd like to push out over the coming months. So listen in, hope you enjoy it. So we've got a few pre-can questions so you can learn a bit more about Cloud Gateway uh, and then we'll get to the fun stuff, but let's get, get through this first. Question one, uh, Neil, where did Cloud Gateway come from? Well, we needed something to do. Um, three or four years ago, we'd finished our studies. We are working in London uh, and we are at the flat during the week and we had pretty much nothing to do. So we thought we'd uh, have a take a look at this cloud, this cloud stuff. Obviously, background, we've uh, all from telco and enterprise doing networking for years and years, and we thought we'd give this an idea. So we drew an idea on the kitchen table that will be uh, in the movie where Justin and Neil draw some stuff. We got an idea, and we came up with all the things that I hated about just inside as a telco, um, and he gave me all the rubbish that Justin hated about my side as the customer. And we came up with Cloud Gateway, and we wanted something that was a little bit more agile, um, something with a wrapper with security and something that basically ticked all the boxes on both sides. So we just basically got our head down, played about with it, and then we realized, ooh, we're onto something. Then the Dragon's Den thing happened, went out, gave our ideas to a few people, and they just went, sounds good. And three years later, we're holding on um, for dear life ever since because it's just uh, been incredible. Justin, what does the future look like for Cloud Gateway? I'm so glad you've asked that question, Neil. Uh, the future for Cloud Gateway uh, looks rosy, but I think largely because the world is going in the way we thought it would go, which is not just a testament to what we thought and our, uh, our being able to look into the crystal ball, but it's the fact that the world of hybrid is becoming a reality and not just a piece of uh, marketing nonsense. And I think it's about understanding essentially what that word is. You know, we've always believed, as you know, um, that there's not one size fits all. We've always believed that use of internet, use of public uh, and private networks is, is important to have a blend. Uh, as we got more involved in cloud, we knew that public and private cloud, use of on-premise data centers, use of physical, just having all of those things available uh, as options was gonna be really, really important and really, really big. And I think in the near future, the next few years, I think what we've seen is a lot of people moving towards cloud, really, really important, um, and, and has really fundamentally changed uh, just the entire technology landscape. But there's that, that coming of age where people are now starting to see, ah, oh, actually, I can have a blend of different services from different providers, um, and, and, you know, I need to look to the right foundation to, to be able to assist me with that. And, you know, I know that sounds like, and I know that sounds ultimately like the nice big sales spiel, but it's, it's true. And I know that we're both really proud of that because it's what we've always believed in, it's what we built this, this on. And, you know, I think that's really, that really is coming, coming to bear. I'm sure everyone will be delighted. We've only got three pre-canned questions. Uh, so, Neil, what makes us so special? I suppose the fact that we've uh, worked with each other for the last 15, 16 years, um, BFFs and all that stuff, and we can I'll be completely honest about what we're doing. And it's just the, we've got a good eclectic mix of uh, personalities and skills. Um, the looks, the brains, uh, and it seems to work out. There's a nice Venn diagram overlapping, uh, and we've managed to get the right vision and pull an experience that we've had across the market uh, and across experiences to be able to sort of build where we have. Uh, and it's not just us. Yes, we are the special ones, uh, but we are surrounded by 20-odd um, other people that have made this the company that it is today. It's not just us. Uh, and we're very, very lucky to either have people land on our laps 
or we've managed to sort the right people that we want that matches our ethos uh, and the company. Right, so those are the pre-canned ones that marketing makers do to actually tick the boxes. Now we get sort of a bit of free reign. We have some questions that have come through that we are not been shown. This will be interesting. Right, I'm just going to go straight in for this one. So go, yeah, go one for one. What have we, what have we got? I'm looking forward right, to this. Right, I've got bit, bit, bit. All right, let's go for it. What was your, Justin, what was your very first job? Because I know it's probably got nothing to do with what we're doing now. Um, my very first job was working in photo development for a company called, I, th I can't even remember, I think Click Photo. Point. Mine's more exciting. Um, worked in the chemical industry with a, a lab coat and specs as a nerdy little teenager, left straight school and then went to work in the oil industry. And when it got a little bit too hard at university on day release, I decided I'm going to jack this in and do IT. It's infinitely easier uh, and not look back 20 odd years later since. So Neil, tough one, personal one. What is the funniest memory you have of a time during our friendship? Uh, um, probably involves all the stuff that you probably had to strip out of my best man speech that thankfully didn't go in my best man speech. So yeah, it's probably not going to go in this either. All right, move, let's just keep moving on. We'll call that one hard pass. Your question to me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here you go. Here you go. If you compared yourself to any celebrity couple, oh, if you compared us to a celebrity couple, who would it be? As in me and you? Uh, easy. Oh, that's, I think I know where this is going. That's Ant and Deck, surely. What, with your forehead? Uh, mainly because of my massive forehead, yeah. I would have said that with that. Why? Who would you go with? The uh, Bert and Ernie on, on, <laughs> in the bed on Sesame Street. <laughs> that is way better. Yeah, Just you're right. When we're in bed reading books, talking rubbish. Probably Bert, Bert and Ernie, <laughs> yeah. Well, also, comically, one is gregariously full of beans and the, <laughs> the other one's you full of sin. <laughs> that works well. Neil, question for you. Where is your favourite place in the world? No brainer. Uh, Lake Como. Followed closely by Canada. Lake Como, first time I went on honeymoon a few years ago, and it's uh, probably the, the most beautiful place that's the most peaceful that I'd love to retire there. Um, it just it mesmerised me, uh, and I've got a hankering to go back. Oh, here's one for you. This will be a, an interesting one. Who tends to get the last word? God, the hell. I would say that is split. I think that depends. I think both attempt to, and I think both <laughs> both would also answer that outside of this by saying the other one. <laughs> yeah. So I think if I was trying to be on the fence, looking from the outside in, I would imagine it's fairly split. I, like I say, we would both, we would both say we think it's the other, I think it's close. I think it also depends on what it is. I know rightfully so, if it's technical, you will be more aggressive to get the last word as you should. And if it's non, I will be more aggressive to get the last words. If you could meet one celebrity, dead or alive, who would it be? I think I know who it would be now. And I think I know it, and I think it changed. Um... I'm going to do a twofer because I'm an old man. If it was to meet somebody and sit down and have a coffee and rack the brains of an alive person would be my hero, guitarist, Mark Knopfler. No question. However, I've recently, it's erred towards, where is he? This man up here, Chris Cornell, singer, uh, songwriter. I would have loved to have a sit down and chat with him and pick his brains. Um, just because the influence uh, and his music 
So Chris Cornell, for you don't know, Soundgarden from the grunge era, Audio Slave with the Rage Against Machine supergroup, superb, if not probably the best voice in rock, in my opinion. Uh, I'd love to pick his brains. Weirdly, both musicians, because that's, uh, that's just everything that I, uh, I go for. Ooh, last one. What are your nicknames for each other? Hmm. Nicknames for each other. <laughs> um, I don't actually think that we have nicknames for each other. Um, I think in the in the style of growing up in the eighties and nineties playground, which I don't know if it's the same nowadays or not, just Briscoe. Uh, yeah. As in, I I don't actually think I call you Neil very often. No, I don't think I don't think I've got one for you, unless it's unless it's derogatory for some weird and wonderful reason at the time. And final question: What is the one thing, apart from me, that you couldn't live without? Uh, do I have to at this point say my kids and my wife and all that stuff? Or I'd, I'd just go absolutely just Spotify my headphones. I'll be happy with that. I am completely happy with that. Spotify my headphones and Yorkshire can't live without it. Okay, thank you for watching and listening to Ramble. If you've got to the end, uh, you've done very well. Uh, you've got stamina. We'll be doing more of these videos uh, moving forward. Uh, so if you've got a topic that you'd like to uh, discuss and like us to talk about, about the industry, about technology, about Cloud Gateway, feel free to get in contact and we'll be more than happy to give you our opinions, whether it's uh, divisive or not. So uh, thank you very much for watching and bye-bye. Uh, I know immediately what you're going to say before I've even said anything. What? You're not a quiz show host. Oh, you're not talking to a crowd. Oh, you're putting on your presenter voice. <laughs> very, very eloquently. <laughs> Which Hi, to welcome to Cloud Gateway Live. <laughs> Hello. Um, we are, right, there we go. Hello. 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 Oh, I'll do. Welcome to the video. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cloud Gateway Podcasts. Um, it's not a podcast. It's not, is it? No. What makes us so special? I thought you were going to do the really rubbish dad joke of what makes you two special, and I was going to go massively overrated band, but hey ho. Now, the funniest event with us. Um, it involves doing something that we probably shouldn't be doing, so... <laughs> um. Boom. Done. Ta-da! <laughs>